Hello, this is a demo of the auto archive feature in Azimo. So let's log in as the admin user. So here you see a department called archives. Let's go into any other department. Let's say Delhi. Let's go into the document library. And let's upload a document here. Let's make it a, a specific type, which is OEO contract. This is a document type that we customized for one of our customers. And uh, the key thing about this type is it has a tenure start date and a tenure end date. So the start date and the end date of the contract. So we're assuming that we're uploading a contract. Let's fill in some information here. So let's say country Australia, state Victoria, Melbourne, one name. Let's give it a tenure start date. Let's give it a date from a couple of days ago. And tenure end date for demo purposes, let's keep it today. So what will happen is that once this document is created, we have a demo script running in the background that runs once every two minutes. And it'll look for documents whose end date is today. And the moment it finds one, it will move it to the archives. So let's put in some of the other compulsory pieces of information that this particular document type requires. Now remember, for you, we'll create a custom document type that works best uh, in your situation. This is just a demo. I'm just showing something which you've done for, uh, for another customer. So let's give it some code and OK. So this document has been uploaded. You can look at its properties. You can see that the end date is the 3rd of July, 2017, which is today. Cancel out of that. Let's refresh it. After about two minutes, this document should move to the archives folder. Let's refresh and see. Still here. Let's give it some more time. So. So all of this is uh, a bit of a, a custom thing that we can do for you. It's not very difficult to do, probably a day's work at most, once we understand your requirement. So this job that we have running, we would typically schedule it once every night, rather than every two minutes. Every two minutes, we've just done it so we could demo this uh, easily in the video. So as you can see, the document is gone from here. Let's click on departments go to archives. Again, we can customize what the archives department is called. We can customize who has access to the archives department. At the moment, only the system administrator has access. So we click on the document library. And this was the document that we just uploaded, the first book of Moses. It, it has now come here. So we can also customize the folder structure underneath the archives. Again, depending entirely on what makes the most sense for you. Thank you.